So one of the, the great gifts of practicing this powerful sadhana where we recognize this truth is that each moment is more uh, precious. And I know for me, I've had the opportunity to have my daughter back in town and she's, she's my little angel and she's such a conscious light worker. She's got Pildora.com NYC, right? Yeah, Pildora.com and we're launching Pildora Live March 30th, which my mom, Crystal, will be doing yoga together every Monday. She'll be guiding us. So Monday morning, Mondays with Crystal, Mindful Monday. And uh, she'll have a lot of really fabulous speakers as well that'll be talking about conscious consciousness and, and um, sustainability and just making the planet a better place. So as we move into this practice of detox and relief and release, um, just remember that love is still the answer. It's still the truth. It's unchanging. And yes, sometimes it can be challenging, but it's always good. I love you very much. Let's get started. Ready? Ready. Are you guys ready? Ready? <laughs> All right. So we'll start the way we always do, which is chanting Om three times. If you don't um, typically chant, it's okay. You can just enjoy. It's a high vibrational sound and it sets the tone. It's kind of like Pablo dogs. It sets the tone for the practice. Um, it also balances out the right and the left hemisphere of the brain. So it's a really powerful way to start. But again, if you're not used to doing that, just enjoy the sound. Are you ready, my beautiful one? All right, hands at the heart, please. Inhale. We'll send this one out to someone who needs our love. So send the sound of your voice out to someone who needs your love. Inhale. And the last ohm we're gonna keep inside. So I wanna keep your lips sealed on this one. Just keep the lips sealed and it's a little hum. Here we go, inhale. May your practice be fruitful. May it be loving. Namaste. All right, so let's get started. Let's see if Alexa is going. Right? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Let's make sure that Alexa is with us. Alexa, play Spotify. Hello, everyone. Welcome to your Spotify. Okay. 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 So we're going to start by coming down to our mat in a wide child's pose. Knees are wide, big toes are touching. Extend your fingers out in front of you, forehead on the mat. And then roll side to side. It's a gentle release here. Inhaling and exhaling as you just move from side to side. For three. Alexa, volume down. Alexa, volume down. Side to side. That is three. Two. And one. All right. Roll up on two to your box. And the fingers, the wrist, the elbows, and the shoulders are all in one line. And then we're going to take some hip circles. But first, I want to do some cat and cow. So round through the spine, pull the belly up towards the spine, and then release this down. Lift the sternum. Look up. Now, see if you can do that same movement. Pull the spine in, but this time circle around. And those of you who are a little more flexible, I want you to turn your wrist towards you, otherwise, towards the sides of the mat. And we take this strong cat all the way back and around. Alexa, volume up. We'll find the right one. Okay, that's better. For three, two, one. Other direction if you haven't already done that. For three, two, and one. Now hold it here. You can flip your palms around if this is too much. Curl up your belly and then bring your knees up and hold for five. Four, three, two, back down. A little core work there. We're warming up, getting the heat, the fire moving. Stay with me. Here we go. We're gonna warm this up one more time. Up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. You have one more. Let's do this. You can turn around like Christina did if that hurts your wrist. You take good care of yourself and bring it up again. Five, four, three, 
two, and one. All right, flip it around. And then we're gonna push this all the way back, downward facing dog. Auto push up asana, all the way back. Pressing all the way back. Round through the spine, a little reset button here for three. We're just waking up for two. Do whatever feels good to you though. So move around on your mat for me. Find a little creativity here and just do what feels right for your body. I always like just to give freedom at the beginning of the practice to move because you're the one inside your body and you know what it needs. Ooh. Couple more breaths, just do whatever feels right for you. Mm. And then meet me back in downward facing dog. I'm gonna push it Right leg comes up. Alexa, next song, hip circles. One. Two, other direction, one, two, three. Step it all the way forward, right between your legs. Drop the back knee down, top of the back foot down. And we're just gonna go forward and back here. Press forward, bring it back. One, two, how are you doing, Christy? Good. Yeah. <laughs> Little yogi over there for three. How y'all doing? Four, we're gonna hold the back one. Still warming up core here, curl up your feet, feet up one, two, three, I know, it's a hard one. Four, five, nice and easy. Step up into standing splits for me, standing splits. Hold your standing splits. Some of you will take a balance pose here. Catch the back foot, one or both hands. Allow for the wobble. We're just warming up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hands come back down. And then tuck the foot behind. You're gonna work on the IT band here. Inhale length and exhale deep forward fold. You can stay here and take your hands around, open up. We're just waking up. Chin to shin, knee to nose. So open up the shoulders. For three, two, and one. Hands come back down. Back foot back up into the sky. Exhale, bring the feet together. We're gonna to warm up our core, but let's take the other side first. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deep forward fold. Open up. So let's take your right leg up and step it all the way back. Drop the knee down. We're on the left side. Forward and back. One, two, three. Are you ready for this? Four <laughs> and five. Bring it all the way back. Flex your foot. Ready? One, two. I know it's hard. Three, four, and five. All right, bring it down. Step up into standing splits on this side. It's gonna take a little balance again. We're just warming up. Hold for five, four, three, woo, two, one. Toss it around behind. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deep forward fold. Open for three. Oh, it feels so good to stretch, right, Christina? Your shoulders are so open, wow. <laughs> for three, two, and one. Bring it all the way up. Exhale. Hands come around and catch your shoulders. Okay, so you can stay here. You can take your full eagle pose. We're just warming up. Inhale length, and some of you may want to even hook this. Inhale. Exhale, fold. One, two. We hold for five, four, three, two, back up. We're just warming up, so we're not gonna do too many of those. Take it back up, unravel the legs, exhale, deep forward fold. Before we take the other side, before we take, our, take your right foot, bring it around, right foot, bring it around in front, so we have the right foot in front. Inhale, lengthen, and again, exhale, deep forward fold. Sweep it up. This time the right hand comes underneath, catch the shoulders. Take the same pose, whatever you did last time. Take the hands, maybe add the legs to your eagle legs. Bring it down slow. We're only taking one. One, two, three. We hold for five, four, three, two. Good, and up. All right, oh, that's so good. Deep forward fold, swan dive down for me. Hands come around. Then we're gonna sit low and reach high. 
sit all the way down to your heels. So some of you may have to put your hands on the ground for this transition, that's okay. Otherwise, we just drop our bum to the ground, feet to the sky. We're gonna hold for five, four, three, two. Only the right leg comes down. You can always catch behind the knees if you need to. Bring it down, five, four, three, two. We're gonna hold it here. Some of you will have your hands up above you and your shoulders are off the ground for five, four, three, two, back up. Hands up by the biceps, by the ears. You can always catch around behind you if you need to. We hold for five, four, not three. Oh, I know, right? Two, left leg comes down. One, two, three, four. We hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back up. We're gonna take both legs down, okay, Christy? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. We hold for five, four, three, two, back up. All right, last one of these. We hold for five, four, then we're adding on. Three, two, one. Catch either behind your thighs or catch your toes. Either way, we're gonna open up. Hello, darling. <laughs> hold for five. So this is kind of a tricky one. You'll have some fun with it. You can catch behind your knees if you need to. Otherwise, we're just gonna roll this back. We're just waking up, roll back. Well, maybe not on that one. I'm gonna come up here and do it, okay? We hold for five, four, three, two. Back up and we hold. Catch behind the knees if you need to. Three, two, and one, one more time, back. I know, the window's there, right? Five, four, three, two, back up. And we hold for five, four, three. Last one of these, all right? She's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bring it back. We hold for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up and hold. Guess what, we're gonna take this all the way down. So you're gonna come into a wide eagle sit. Four, three, two, one. All the way down, you can let go. Some of you have been practicing for a while. You're gonna take it wide and low, and then come down. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna up the picture here. And we hold for five. Four, three, two, and one. Lovely, lovely. So we're just warming up. Cross your ankles. Step back in the box and push back in the down dog. All right, let's move now. It should be nice and warm. Right leg comes up for me, Christy. Open the door, bend the knee. Take the knee to the nose and hold for five, four, three, strong cat, round the upper thoracic, two, one. Look forward, plant your foot. Drop the back knee down. We already did this earlier, so forward and back. One, we're gonna go a little deeper in our stretches. Two, hi everybody. You warming up with us? I'm so happy to have my daughter here. It just makes me so happy. Three. <laughs> All you moms understand that, right? Four. Five. Now we hold in the back position. Some of you will stay here. Some will come right into Hanuman, all the way down. So this is the first one. You don't have to go all the way to the ground. Just go wherever your body's are. You might even use a block, put it underneath you. Let me show what that looks like. Christine, you can show. Where? Yeah, you can do it there, or you can do it right underneath you here. Okay. Or three. Take it easy. <laughs> Taking it easier. Yeah. Two. And one. Bring it back in. If you're in your front, bring it forward. And then we're going to step right back up. You've already been here. Standing splits. Find your balance. Really work on this. Hold for five. So I think with this time of instability in our outer circumstances, we need to find balance in our inner circumstances. So find balance here. Maybe challenge yourself here to, to wobble a bit. You don't have to be perfect. Let's see if you can wobble and then take it a deeper level. Hold for three, two, one, palms come down, left foot comes behind the right. Just like this, Chris. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, open up your shoulders for that IT band stretch. For three, two, and one. Circle all the way up, going right into our eagle leg, eagle arms. You have your options, you can stay with this, yeah? or you can take the full eagle arms. You can stay with your legs like this, 
or you can take your full eagle legs. Inhale, lengthen either way. Exhale, hold. One, two, three. We hold for five, four, three, two. Back up. You got two more of these. Here we go again. Exhale down. One, two, three, four. We hold for five, four. Get your zen on. Three, two, back up. You've got one more. Ready? Exhale down. Five, four, three, two. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back up. Unravel. Tap your toe out. Exhale. We're going to take a little balance. All right, Chris? Bring it all the way back like you're drawing a line in the sand with your toe. Bring it back and find angel wings by the side body. Now, for some of you, you might just stay here. Others, we're going to lift this up. Others, we're going to come here. Others, interlace and use those nice open shoulders and get your hands up off your back. Some will even take this into a humble balance pose. If you wobble out, just come back for three, two, one. Now, step back to the back leg. Circle the right hand up. Find your warrior two. Yes. Now, let's just sink into our warrior. Take time to set this up. Your hips move away from each other. Your gaze, your drift sees out the front middle finger. We sink down. We hold for five, four. Tuck your pelvis up and under towards the navel. Scoop the pubic bone up towards the navel. That's a good way to think of this. Sink even deeper. Three, four, five. Inhale, bring you up, straighten the legs. We're gonna do two more of those. See if you can get even deeper. Sink down and hold. Get in some fire. Feel the burn and walk towards the fire, all right? Feel the burn and walk towards the fire. So sink down. Not, don't get burned, but feel it and get closer. For three, two, one. Back up. You, got, you okay, Chris? Feeling good. All right. Press down. Push some weight in the outside edge of your back foot. Make sure that your front knee is directly over your ankle. You're scooping your pubic bone up and the, the weight is pushing towards the back edge of your back foot. Three, two, one. Take your hand to the outside of your thigh. You can put it on a block. And then nice and easy circle forward. So a side angle stretch. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Now circle the top hand up and straighten the leg and take a little bind here. So you might even use your hand to catch it. And then drop back into this and hold for five. Four. Now for some of you, you're going to stay with this, all right? That's as far as you go. Those of you who have been practicing for a while, reach around and take a full bind here. Open up. For three, two, and one. Circle back up. Reverse your warrior here. Open up. Exhale, straddle down. Right back into our standing splits. Working on balance. We hold for five, four, three, two, one. Cross your right foot behind. Here we are on the left side. Inhale, length, and exhale. A little recovery here as you take the hands around, open up the shoulders. Keep breathing. One, two, three, four, and five. Inhale, brings you all the way up. Up, 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 up. And then the left hand comes underneath the right. Catch your shoulders. You can stay with this. Remember, this is your option. Your next level is you catch the arms, just like Christina's doing here. Next level, you take the legs as well. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hold. One, two, three, four. We hold for five, four, three, two. Back up on five. Allow for the wobble, guys. Here we do it again. One, two, three. Four, we hold for five, four, three, two, back up. Last one now, here we go. Exhale, bring it down. We hold for five, four, three, hold for five here. Hold, five, four, three, two, back up. Unravel, tap your toe. It's a good little place to recenter yourself. Inhale, lengthen, and take your angel wings by your side body as you take your toe through the sand. Bring it back. Tuck your pelvis under for balance here. So find your bandhas, and then bring this forward to your degree of 
balance. You can bring it up high like Christina's doing. You can interlace behind you if you want to really challenge yourself. And you can dive this down if you really want to wobble with me. We hold for a five, four, three, two. Circle back. Left hand comes back. Find your warrior two. Here we go. Sit this down. Woo! Feeling a little sweaty here. <laughs> bring it down. Hold for a five. Believe it or not, it's kind of challenging to talk and teach. It really is. Four, three, get a little deeper. Work on your form. Two, one, straighten your legs. All right, we'll bring it back down. A little bit deeper for me. More weight on the outside edge of the back foot. Track the front knee, ankle. Look out the drissy, the front middle finger. Lift your back hand a little bit. Work straight energy lines. Three, two, one, bring it back up. Yes, remember to breathe. Good breath work, Christina. Bring it back down and hold for five, four, three. Keep breathing. Two, one. Is that two or three? Got one more? I don't know. One more. I know. Let's do it. Yoga break. <laughs> one, two, three. Get ready. Four, five. Circle down. Top hand reaches over. The side angle pose, we hold for five, four, three, get ready for your bind here, two, one, take, this is your little detox, right? We're doing some twists, so take your hand around, you can get to the inside, whatever you gotta do to do that, do that, and we hold it here. Some of you are really flexible, you bring it around, catch it, and then try to open your chest to the sky. We hold for five, four, three, two, and one, unravel, bring it back up. And then we step all the way back down into our standing splits. Standing splits on the left leg up into the sky. Get ready for your core work for three, two, one, feet come together. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, deep forward fold. Open up your shoulders. And then we're gonna sit low again. Sit low, reach high. Bum to the ground, feet to the sky. You've already been here. So if you're feeling fatigued, you catch behind your knees. Take good care of yourself. We're working on truthfulness. So don't drink someone else's practice. Do your practice. Bring it down slow. Right leg only. One, two, three, four. All the way down, we hold for five. Four, three, two, back up on five. Bicep by the ears if you can. Behind the knees if you need. We hold for five, four, three, Woo! Three, two, fire. One, bring it down. One, two, three, four. We hold for five. Four, three, two, back up on five. We're gonna take both down. You ready, Chris? Ready. One, two, three, four. We hold for five. Add it on here. Three, two, all the way to the right. Roll. Now here, kick your legs back. Kick your legs back. Five, four, like a little mermaid. Three, I know, two, one. Now reach around and catch your top foot, Chris. Drop your chest towards the earth. Chest towards the ears and kick and open. Yes, just like that, like a little back bend here. So chest down towards the earth. So roll into your belly a little bit more. Right there, and kick. Yes, three, four, five. Now change leg, get the bottom leg. This time you roll and open to the sky. So your chest is opening to the sky and you kick your leg out. Feels good, right? Yeah. Nice little stretch, two. And one, release it. Come all the way back to center. We have two sides to the body. Let's roll to the other side. And kick it back. We hold for five, four, three, two, one. We reach back, catch the top foot first. And we open this up by dropping the chest down. Chest comes down. And we hold for five. Nice little opening for the back. First back opening. Three, two, one. Change legs. Opposite here, we kick the leg out and we open up. Oh, this is so good. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back. Nice and easy. Back onto the back. Coming right back up. You ready, Chris? Up. Yes. Three. Two, one, catch your toes. 
We're not going to roll back because that was just too complicated here in this room. All right, so just take it wide and then lower down. Wide angle sit. Don't want to hit you guys. I'm going to scoot back. <laughs> I don't want to hit you. All right, down. Down to the earth if you can. We're going to hold it here for five. Now, I know some of you are really flexible, so you warmed up a little bit so we can go into our wide angle splits, Somo Konasana. So you wanna make sure your ankle, your knee, and your hips are only one line as you drop into this. Oh, it feels so good. And some of us are perfectly fine with this. Yes, some of us are perfectly <laughs> fine like that, exactly. Three, four, five. Bring your feet back together. All right, we'll take a forward fold here just to release out of it. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Four, five. So this is a detox and opening. So we're gonna start with our openings here. Three, two, one. Catch you on only the right foot, okay? Only the right foot. Pull it up. Got it? Pull it up and in. We hold for five. Four, three, two, one. Now bend your knee and drive this back. We hold for five. Four, three. Now some of us are gonna stay here. That's perfectly fine. Two, one. Next level, we take it to the shoulder. Some will stay here. Next level, we're gonna open this all the way up. We hold for five, four, three. Pay attention, because we're gonna be doing this standing in a moment. And one. Now take your foot down into half lotus. If you can't do half lotus, you put your foot underneath you and sit on it, okay? Half lotus. From here, since we're doing detox, let's take our right hand, bring it around and catch your foot. Now, if you can't do that, you can always use your towel. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Ardhabada. We hold for five. We're gonna be doing this standing as well. All this dust in here. Mm. Hold for five. Four. Three. Two, and one. Don't go anywhere, stay with me. Pull your front leg in. Now if this is too much, you just bring your foot down here, okay? If you can keep your lotus, then you do that, but don't strain your ankle, make sure that your ankle's safe. And then scoot up into your front foot. Yeah? And then take your left hand up, and we'll take a little bind here. Now for some of us, a little bind might look like something like this. Others are gonna be able to take it, catch it, and then drop all the way down. We hold for five. Four, three, two, one. Now this is gonna be a challenge, all right? So remember, you take the level that you want. You can simply stay there. Some of you can take this up here. Just float the foot, it's kind of fun to do. You can also have your foot down. Others are gonna push it back here. Others are gonna take the full extension that we were talking about earlier, where you put your foot on your shoulder and then open this up. But this time you're gonna drop your knee down and did a deeper pose. We open up here for five. You okay? Mm -hmm. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it all the way down. All right, now those of you who are just here, you can also have your foot here. We're gonna work on your lotus because lotus takes some time to open it. I think that nobody really teaches this, so I wanna show you how to do this. There's actually three parts to it, okay? The first part, if you can, you keep your half lotus, otherwise your foot's down. And you're gonna take your foot, and the first thing you're gonna do is push it back, yeah? And then you're gonna pull it in. So here we go. Just start with your foot down here. Push it back, and then pull it in. Third part is you roll it around, yeah? Let's try that again. Knee back, heel in, roll around. We're gonna do one more, okay? Mm -hmm. Knee back, heel in, roll around. Now keep this high. Take your bottom foot and bring it on top. So the big, the big um, danger here is to tweak out your ankle. So what you wanna make sure is when you come in that you bring this nice and high and your ankle is protected here. If you can't do that, then you're not ready to bring the, top, the bottom foot up. And we're just gonna hold this here for five, four, three, two, good job. And one, sit back, knee back, unravel. Kick the legs out. Nice and easy. We're gonna come down again, guys. You ready? Five, four, three, 
We hold for five. We're going to roll to the right. So we're going to add a little different roll here. Two, one, roll to the right. All the way over. Nice and easy. Catch the bottom foot first. Bottom foot first. Drop your chest down. Kick your foot up. We hold for five. Four, three, two, one. All right, now reach around, catch the top foot. Open this up. Kick it open, chest to the ground. Three, two, one. Roll all the way onto your belly. Keep a hold of your left foot. Now reach both, lift up. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down, you okay? Yeah. Two more, here we go. Up, five, four, three, two, one. We only have one more, ready? Up, two, three, four, and five. Bring it all the way down, roll back on your back, and hold for five. So it's nice to do a little uh, core right between. This is a nice counter pose for your back bend. So hold for five, four, three, two, and roll to the other side. All right, again, we take the bottom foot first this time. Bottom foot first, so your chest is open and you kick and open and hold. It feels so good for three, two, active rest here. One, then we change feet. This time you drop your chest down and kick and open. We hold for five, four, three, two, all the way to the belly. Yeah, reach back, catch the other. Here we go again. And up. Hold for five. Four. Three. Two. Back down to five. You okay? Mm -hmm. Two more. <laughs> Here we go. Up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Back down. One more. Let's do it. Up. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. All right. Roll all the way back onto your back. This time we're going to give you a little active rest. You're right, pull your knees in. Feeling good? Hip circles here. Oh, great. Three, two, other direction. Three, two. Back up into sitting. You can catch behind your knees to get there. Roll back up into sitting. You can stay here. If you're feeling fatigued, I, can, I suggest you do. Otherwise, we bring it here. We hold for five, four, three, two. Come down slow. Five, four, three, two. We hold for five, four, three, two. All the way down. Take your left leg, bring it in. Come all the way up for this. We did the sitting on the last side, so let's do it here. Pull it in. We hold for five, four, three, two. Catch your foot. Drive it back. Remember, this is part of getting into your lotus, so really work this. Catch your foot, drive it back, and hold for five. And you can always stay with this. Four, three, two, one. Bring it around. You can hold it here. Yeah. Or we bring this up, and we hold it here for five. Four, three, two, one. Half lotus. Hold it in. So remember, if you can't do half loads, it's okay. You just put your foot underneath. Those of you who can take the bind, reach around and bind, take a forward fold. We hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale brings you back up. And then release. Pull your front knee in. All right. Again, we're going to scoot up into this. If you need to sit on your foot, it's okay. We're just taking a little twist here. Inhale, lengthen up, exhale, twist. Maybe you bind this. Maybe you bring it all the way down. We Maybe. hold for five. Maybe. <laughs> Four, three, two, and one. Now you can stay with this. Maybe just float it here. Maybe just kick this back. Maybe you take it here, and maybe you drop your knee down and really open this up. Here we are on the other side. Hello. We hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Bring it down. Oh, we're going to work this side first. So bring your foot underneath. Let's work this first. Take it back. 
and forward. I call this the lawnmower pose. Because you're like, yeah, it's like, you're, you know how you start, well, you guys are probably too young, but you used to start lawnmowers like this, like, <laughs> lawnmower pose. Two, three. Now hold it in the back position and just take the heel in and up. So that's, that's position number two, heel to inner thigh and up. And then the third position is to roll it around, right? So let's see if we can take all three together. So the first one, lawnmower, pull it in, roll it around. Let's try that again. Push it back, lawnmower, heel to hip, roll around. Last one, and we'll hold this one. Back, heel in, and around. All right, find the other foot, bring it either on top or keep it on the bottom. And just take a moment here to pause, a little active rest in your full lotus pose. Straight spine, shoulders back and away, eyes soft. Four, three, two, and one. I wonder what time it is. Go up. It seems like the music's over. That's like an hour long. Okay. Inhale up. Can you check for me, please? Okay. Inhale. How are you guys doing? Exhale, hold. 37. Oh, so we've got a few more minutes. Yes. Let's keep it going, guys. Alexa, play Spotify. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hold. So what we're going to do for the next 10 minutes, and then we'll cool down, is we're going to go through the whole thing, okay? I know. The whole thing from the beginning. <laughs> you guys ready for it? And then we'll do it one time each side. We'll add a couple little uh, things in the middle just to keep it spicy. Spicy for Christy. She's my spicy one. <laughs> she likes all the spicy food. Uh huh. All right. Everybody out there ready? Yeah, Mexican in me. <laughs> Feet up. Okay. And cross. Come back to box. All right. Turn your palms around. Hip circles. One. Two. So we're nice and warm. So we're going to add a couple little back bends here. Three. And these are fun. Four. Five. Turn your palms back and around for me. Drop your elbows down. I'll show you places to stay, so don't feel like you have to do all this. So this is the first level. You're in your like little half box, and you just push back and drop your head down. Now for some of us, that's enough. That's as far as we go. Next level, I know you're nice and open, Christy. So on this one, you're gonna slide down, get your chest to the ground for extended puppy pose. Some of you really flex these out there. You're gonna, you're gonna walk your knees in and then straighten your legs. Some of you super flexible girls or guys, however the case may be, walk your knees in, reach around with your left hand and catch your left foot. Your right hand, catch your right foot. And then release out of this. Come all the way through and bring it up. Find a high cobra here. Open up. Walk your hands in. Bring your feet up, touch the back of your head. At least try. Five, four, three, two, and one. Press back into your hip circles. Woo, that felt good. One, two, and three. Curl up your toes for me. Hollow out your belly. Press this back. Take the right leg, bring it all the way up. Open the door. Exhale, take the knee to the nose. We hold for five. This little core. Three, two, one, step your foot forward, drop to the back knee. Now remember, you can either take your Hanuman here, which is your front splits, or you stay in a low lunge. So if you're in low lunge, you can stay here. If you're a Hanuman, you come down. Now we've been working for a bit, so maybe you get a little bit deeper. See if you keep your hips square and drop down. Breathe. I like to turn my palms around here. Hold for five. Remember I told you we're gonna add a little extra fun thing here, right? Uh -huh. Two, and one. So if your palms are around, fine. Drop down and pull this into half pigeon. Let's just drop into our half pigeon and hold for five, four. Oh, that feels so good, right? Three, if you can, parallel your shin to the front of the mat, if that's possible. If not, it's okay. Two, and one. Now pay attention here. Bring this back up. Pay attention. Take your left foot and sweep it up. Pull your front leg in. Now for you that are a little bit more flexible, you're gonna kickstand this to the other side. Looks like this. 
Otherwise, you can keep it in, okay? Plant your right hand down and circle your left hand up. One, two, three, four, and five. Now you can simply stay with that, or we're gonna add the hips. It looks like this. Up, two, three, four. Back down on five, try it again. Here we go. Circle up, up, two, three, four. Back down, we got one more, ready? Mm -hmm. Up, one, two, three, four, and five. Circle your left foot back. Take your right leg back into the sky. Step it forward right up into standing splits. Standing splits, we hold for five, four, three, two, one. Cross it behind. Right foot is forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Take the hands around, we'll open up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up, all the way up, nice and easy. We're only taking one of these, okay, Chris? Right hand comes underneath the left. Find your eagle arms if that's in your practice. Even add the eagle legs if that's in your practice. Bring it down slow. Five, four, three, two, we hold for five, four, three, two, back up. Unravel, pay attention here because we're adding on. Nice and easy, I want you to reach around and catch your front knee. It's a balance, right? Remember I told you that we're gonna do some of these poses at standing, now here's your opportunity. Take your foot and bring it in. Some of us are gonna just hang here. Next level, reach around and catch your arm. Some of us are gonna stay here. Next level, reach around and catch your foot. Once you catch your foot, then we take a forward fold. A little wobble, wobble, and bring it down. We hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Come out of it the way you went into it. A little bit of a wobble. It's okay. Unravel, reach around and catch your foot back, back here. Nice and easy, we're gonna pull the foot, just like we did laying down, catch it here. So if you wobble out of that, you just simply come back, all right? Now for some of us, we're just gonna stay here. Some are gonna push this back, and again, the same thing that we did sitting, you can put it on your shoulder, or you can bring this up. We hope for five. We wobble for five. <laughs> Four. Three. Two. And one. Bring it all the way back down. Good. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deep forward fold. Open up. Three, two, one. Halfway left, we're gonna stay on the right side. So step your left foot back and circle up. Find your warrior, only taking one. Hold for five, four, three. Push some weight in the outside edge, two, one, circle around and take your bind here. Again, it can be just a gentle bind. You just hold it here. Some of you are gonna reach around and catch it here. And since we're open and we've opened up the hips, some of you might wanna take your foot behind the head pose. So that you're gonna take your foot here and around, maybe even bind it. We hold here. Hold for five, four, three, two, unravel. Woo circle up. Nice and easy, all the way down. Step back into your box. Hip circles, four, three. I'm sure my palms are down. Two, and one. All right, drop to your elbows. So going right back to that opening pose, remember that one? Where I said you can just stay, if you need a little recovery, you just stay here. You wanna drop your chest down and extend into extended puppy, do that, or straight legs will catch your bind, your practice. Let's go. Lock it in, lock it in, maybe. Reach around and catch your back foot. Roll through. Find your high cobra. 
kick the back into the back of the head, or at least try, drop the your flexors. Three, two, and one. All right, hip circles. Woo -hoo, one more side, you ready? Yes. Press all the way back. Down dog. Left leg comes up. Open up. Take the knee to the nose. Hold for five. Four. Three. Two. Plant your foot. Drop to the back knee. You can stay in a high lunge. Or here we are on this side. We hold for five. Four. Three. Two. One. Sweep it around into your half pigeon pose and drop down into it. Oh, this feels so good. Didn't always feel good, I promise you. <laughs> Four, three. Four, two. And one. All right, we're gonna sweep our foot out. Right foot comes up. We're gonna pull the kickstand in. You can keep it to the inside or bring it on the outside. It's your choice. We're taking three of these. Kickstand it over. It's time to plant your left foot, left hand down, and then we circle up here. Here we go. Up, one, two, three, four. Back down on five. Feels good? Yes. Again, up. One, two, three, four, and five. I think my other side's a little more flexible. <laughs> this one's a little tight. One it's more? It's harder than it. Huh? A nice heart opener. Oh, yes, it is. We need those, right? Yes. Up. One, two, three, four, and five. All right. Sweep your front foot back and around. Nice and easy. Left leg up into the sky. Exhale. Step it forward right into your standing splits. Standing splits. A little balance here. Hold for five, four, three, two, one, cross it. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Deep opening here. We hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up. All the way up. And here we go again. Left hand underneath the right. Left foot is in front. Take your eagle arms. I'm only taking one of these. Let's make it matter. Inhale, lengthen. We're almost done. Five, four, bringing it down. Three, two, we hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Back up. All right, tap it up. Remember, we're doing something different here, right? Reach around and catch your knee. For some of us, I said enough. We just stay here. Pull it in close, heel to hip if you can. The next level, we pull it up and we drop the knee down. And we just hold it here. Maybe you can reach around and catch your arm. Or if that feels good, then we reach around and catch the foot and take a forward fold. I'm missing my hot studio. Whew. These poses are so much easier in a hot studio. Bring it down and hold for five, four, three, two, and back up the way we went into it. We come out nice and slow. I like to get the shoulder stretch here. Whew. All right. Reach around and catch your foot again. Again, you can stay here. You can catch the foot. You can push it back. You can take the shoulder. Your practice. And then we bring it back down, tap your toe back, all the way back. Standing splits, just as a transition. Take it down, drop to your box. We'll go to our warriors. Four, three. You guys doing okay? We're almost done. Two, and one. All right, press back down. Dog left foot comes up. We're in our warriors on the left side. Circle up for me. Find one warrior, deep warrior, low warrior, fierce warrior. Find it inside of you, that warrior energy, where you're not conquered by whatever is happening to you, that you can simply sit and stay fiercely. Hold for five, four, three, 
three and a half. Let's get lower. Four, there we go. Five, left hand on the outside. You can stay with side angle pose. Some of you, hold for five, four, three, two, open your chest. One, bring it up. Take your hand to the inside. Again, this is, you can stay with this. It's pretty challenging just to stay here. Open here. Some of you will drop this down, take a bind here. And others, we're gonna do that, lot, that thing that we did last time where you can take your foot behind your head. So if you're just learning this, drop to the back knee and just take your foot and hang it out at your head. This is where it starts. Then from here, you can bring it up and then scoop your head and neck and shoulders behind your foot. I know, right? Easier said than done. And then reach around and bind it. We hold for five, four, three, two, and one. So wherever you are, we circle back up and all the way down. High and low push up, chaturanga. Up dog, find your box, cross your ankles. Come all the way through. We'll take a few releasing poses and we're done for today. <laughs> Inhale, lengthen. Let's see how far we've grown. Exhale, fold. Are you ready for a back bend finish up? Sure. I know you like back bends, okay? Three. Heart openers. Two. And one. All right, we're gonna take just a few back bends to finish up today. I'll show you some gentle ones. I want you to scoot back and just drop to the mat, pull your heels in. Take your hands up above you. We're gonna just scoot back here, get some paint in the window. All right, hands up above you, just like this. Now notice if you have an arch in your low back, you probably do, now press it to the earth. Scoop your pubic bone up. And then from here, lift your hips up. We hold for five, four, three, two, back down on five. All right, now just to mix it up a little bit, we're gonna take our hands, at right hand, and catch your right ankle. Right hand, right ankle, and then plunge it down. Now just from here, you can keep with one hand and lift up, or once you clean it up, you bring the other hand. So with one hand looks like this. The other hand can come around, you catch it, and then press. Nice little opening, hold for five, four, three, two, Back down on five. All right, two sides to the body. So the hands are here again. We reach around, catch the left ankle. Pull it in close. Press the low back to the earth. Scoop up. Maybe reach around and catch the other ankle and lift up. We hold for five. Four. See if you can get your sternum to your chin. The middle of your chest to your chin. Three, four, and five. All right, challenge yourself. Catch both ankles. You might have a towel here. You can scoop a towel around here if you need to. It's okay. And then or a strap. And then scoop the low back into the earth and press this up. We hold for five. Walk your shoulders in towards each other. Four. Three. Two. Back down. All right. Now we're ready for our back bends. I'm going to show you some gentle variations. So you take your palms and flex them here and then tuck them underneath. Now for some of us, let's all start together. We're just gonna come up to the shoulders. You can simply stay here. Come on up to the shoulders. Just the shoulders, yeah? Okay. Then from here to the crown of the head. Some of you will stay here. And then from here, maybe walk your hands in and onto the forearms and work it here. And then from here, we work all the way up into our full back bit. We hold for five, four, three, two, and back down on five. Woo! Knees in. <laughs> Let's take a couple of spinal releases out of that. We should be nice and loose right now. <sighs> Drop knees over to the right. See if you can catch your bottom foot, just like we did a while ago. Catch your bottom foot, so bend it and catch it. And then open your chest. This is called catch the cat by the tail. Some of you really flex this, can take this out and open. But keep the shoulders down. I'm gonna keep my knee because my shoulder comes up when I kick it out. For three, two, and one. Switch sides. This is really nice to do after back bends. A counter pose is a twist. Same thing here. Shoulders down. 
Maybe you can keep this up as long as your shoulders stay down. We hold for five. And catch the bottom foot. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it back and around. Whew. And just tee your hands out or bring them up and just windshield wiper out of this, releasing the central nervous system. Catch around behind your knees, walk this up into sitting. Find a comfortable place. We'll finish with a little meditation. Alexa, stop. So this is just to integrate your practice. In the Yoga Pradittika, which is like the Yoga Bible, it says the only reason that we practice asanas is so we can get to deeper, deeper time, deeper levels of meditation more hours of meditation. We're not going to do hours right now. Just a few, a few minutes here. Close your eyes. So the truth of your existence is love. Regardless of the ups and downs of everyday existence, there is a field where there's neither pushing nor pulling. A neutral space. Compassion, love, kindness that neither pushes nor pulls. That meets the present moment however it's showing up. And through our practice, we learn to stay peaceful in uncomfortable places. And the truth is, sometimes life can be uncomfortable. But the reason that we stay is because there's growth, there's evolution, there's expansion of the soul. We learn to stay in love. And all fear falls away. We learn to stay in truth. And everything is shown to see, shown to be what it really is, which is love. So at this time, I'd like to bring the hands back to the heart. We finish as we began. We began with three ohms. Let's do the same here. Inhale. Second ohm, we send it up to the planet, sweet Mother Earth, for her healing, her empowerment as we go through our changes as a species. Inhale. And the last one now. Again, keep your lips sealed. We take this home, this ohm home with us. Inhale. Thank you to everyone in Pildora for, draw, for joining us today. Thank you to my daughter. And thank you to all of the Gaia Club yogis as well on Facebook and live and YouTube. Love you very much. And I love my daughter very much. Thank you so much for giving us that beautiful practice. Challenging, right? It was more challenging. I think I told everybody it was going to be gentle. <laughs> oh, no. So sorry. That was a surprise. <laughs> it, was fun. it was fun to have you. You're so, you're so like, supple. <laughs> you have such a, a supple, graceful energy. It's just a pleasure. <laughs> I don't get to practice with her often. I know she practiced some really cool studios in New York, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, grateful to be here. I think we're all in uh, different situations now, in different places in the earth, in places that we didn't expect to be, on journeys that we didn't expect to be on. But I think we're pushing us to evolve and adapt. So um, I'm excited for this journey. And um, yeah, now we're going to be doing this on Mondays and. 
Um, yeah, I'm excited for you guys to grow with us, for the Gaia Flow community to grow with us, and um, the Fielder community to expand into your Fielder life. It's nice to cross network with you. Thank you guys so much for joining us today on the Sunday. It's great to move the body and stretch the by the way, if you enjoyed this, it will be posted on the Gaia Flow Yoga YouTube channel. And you're welcome to, to revisit anytime you want. Plus, there's some meditation, sound baths, and other practices there as well. And I am looking so forward to doing the Monday morning, Mindful Morning with Gilmora. Yes, yes. Our life. So yes. we'll be connecting all that and sending out information to everyone. Kisses, love, love, love you all. Let us know what you thought. Bye. Yeah, let us know what you thought. Thank okay. you. All right. Thank you.